What's up with it, Raider Nation? It's your boy, Raider Honcho, and I'm back with a brand new video for you. Today, we're going to be doing year two player evaluations. Now, in the past, we have done a segment called Trust or Bust, and that's where we're breaking down our 2020 rookies. In this segment, we're going to revisit our 2019 draft and discuss where our players are at two years into their career. Okay, so this is like a progress report, and we are going to be given letter grades. Okay, so an F would mean you a goddamn scrub. A D... Boy, you a backup. A C, you got good potential. A B, you're a solid starter. And an A, you're a goddamn superstar for our team, okay? You're a star player. All right, so the first player we're going to evaluate today is going to be Trey Von Mullen, who I must say is one of my favorite picks of the 2019 draft. Okay, so let's get into it. We're going to talk about the grades. We're going to talk about the stats. We're going to put some context into it, and we're going to see where we at when we get to the end. All right, so here we go. Trayvon Mullen, round two, pick number 40, right to the Las Vegas Raiders. All right, so here we go. I'm going to tell you his stats, and I'm going to tell you where he ranks, okay? So we're going to go 2020, okay? 2020, Trayvon Mullen has 53 tackles. He ranks 28th. Two interceptions, that ranks him 23rd. 85 targets is 17th. 54 receptions, that's 18th. Also, that's 66%. That's a little high for me. He has 14 pass breakups, and his PFF grade is actually a 55.3, which to me is pretty trash, okay? It's pretty lousy. Now, when I tell you the rankings, that's amongst all NFL corners, not just the corners in his draft class, okay? That's all corners in the NFL. And if you hear the numbers, he doesn't rank pretty high in anything, okay? And it's pretty indicative of Trayvon Mullen's career so far because he seems to be good but sometimes you watch him, you're like, boy, what the hell are you doing? Like, there's certain plays where you're like, I just don't understand what he's doing. Now, some concerns I do have about the numbers outside of the rankings, okay? Because rankings really don't mean nothing if you get the job done when it means when you need it the most, right? Like, he can rank 29th in pass breakups, but if he gets the pass breakup to win the game, that's the most important part, right? Now... What is concerning to me is that in 2020, he's given up 66% of the completions to, uh, against his targets. In 2019, he was actually only giving up 55%. So there's a little drop off there, and the targets aren't really different. He, had, he has 85 targets this year, and he had 70 targets in 2019. So the percentage is a little higher, even though the targets isn't that much of a difference, okay? Another thing that stands out to me is his, is his pro football focus grade, which in 2020 is a 55.3, which is down from 2019, which was actually 62.5. Now, Obviously, in 2019, he only played in 10 games. In 2020, he played in all in all 16. So you might say, well, more time on the field means his grade is lower, which is also an issue, right? So if you're going to use that, like, well, he's been playing more. That's why his grade's lower. Well, the more he plays, the worse he plays, then we don't want him to play, right? So that number concerns me. Another concern that I have is that, you know... Trayvon Mullen seems to be really weak in his frame and in his strength. I definitely think he needs to get in the weight room, just like Arnett. I think these guys need to lift weights. I mean, they try to be so finesse, but sometimes you just need to be freaking strong. Like, you got to have some strength behind your shit, right? Um, he has bad technique at times, and what I mean by that is, like, he's real handsy, right? And I don't mean, like, he plays physical with his hands. I mean, like, he's grabbing a lot. He gets a lot of holding calls and a lot of uh, uh, pass interference calls, which to me is just... You just can't have that. You got to learn how to play with your feet more than you play with your hands, okay? Like, you got to keep your hands off these guys in the NFL. There are cornerbacks that can do it. And when you draft a corner like Trayvon Mullen in the second round, 40th pick, you expect him to be able to do it, okay? Some of the things I like about Trayvon Mullen is that he is really good in press coverage. Now, this is an interesting uh, stat for you. In 2020... In the midpoint of the season, Trayvon Mullen was actually ranked and graded the best corner in press coverage. But by the end of the season, he was nowhere to be found. So to me, I don't know if that's scheme related or coach related. I, I It's the same player. So I don't know if, you know, he just all of a sudden was like, I'm just not going to play as hard or I'm not going to play as good. Or was Paul Gunther really coaching for his job and trying new shit and had Trayvon Mullen just playing all out of position and, and doing things he doesn't normally do, right? So when you think about Trayvon Mullen, you have to think about the scheme he was in. And since he is a really good press uh, coverage corner, I think he's going to be a good fit for Gus's defense because he likes to play cover one and cover three. Well, when you're a press corner, cover one, cover zero, and cover three are really easy, right? The coverages where you might get in trouble in are 
those soft zones, which is cover four, cover six, or even cover two, right? Because they're just not as aggressive. If you like to be right on the receiver and play aggressive, you don't want to be stuck in a cover four, man. It's just it's just not where you want to be, right? And he also has great speed. He has great recovery speed, which is another bonus to him, which is another attribute that really helps him in the NFL. Um, because even if he gets beat, he has the recovery speed to make up and make a play on the ball, and that's what we need. All right, now, when you put all that together, you have some context. Um, the final grade I'm going to give him, two years into his career, the final grade I'm going to give him is I'm going to give him a C plus. okay? Now, I'm going to take into consideration the scheme and the coaching that was around him, so I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt, and I'm going to give him a C plus. Now, that puts him somewhere in the range of good potential, and solid starter, all right? Because to me, that's where he is, right? In a perfect world, Trayvon Mullen is probably a number two cornerback, okay? You would have a lockdown corner on one side of the field, and you would have Trayvon Mullen as your number two corner. The guy who, because I think if Trayvon Mullen doesn't have to cover the number one receiver, he'll probably eat up. Like, he'll probably be really good, uh, a really good matchup for a number two receiver. But when he's guarding the number one guy, and he's matched up on the number one guy, um, he's going to struggle at times. So to me, as of right now, this doesn't mean that he can't get better. He can't improve just right now. Two years into his career, I give him a C plus. He has good potential. We've seen flashes of it, but we also seen flashes of like, bro, what the hell are you doing? So C plus. Good potential, solid starter, all right? He has some things he has to improve on to be a superstar or a star player for us. All right, so that's my grade. That's the progress report. That's our year two player evaluation on Trayvon Mullen. If you like the content in this video, please like the video. If you like the content on this channel, subscribe to the channel. If you disagree or agree with anything I'm saying, put it down in the comments. You know, man, just holler at your boy. You know I'm going to get at you. You know it might take me some time now. Comments get a little thicker, but I'll be in there. I'll get at you, all right? And until the next time, Ray the Honcho out.